Hi everyone, this is Not Apostrophe. Let's continue our game of, of The Evil Within 2 on PC in 4K with HDR. Okay, where were we? Uh, that's right, I need to go back to the, uh, the marrow. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Preserve, huh? Condenser. This portable condenser unit is used in laboratories to cool gases and condense them into liquids. This component can be used to craft useful items. The freeze bolt. Puzzle. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. Oh, good again on this slot. Man, it's been a while since I got one of those. Hoffman, uh -oh. you here? Another one of these. What happened here?
Oh. O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area of the Marrow? That doesn't sound like him. Uh, half as knows, time as a concept inside STEM has always been tricky, but the disappearance of the core and the collapse of Union has amplified this tenfold. The changes here have become even more pronounced since Sebastian left to confront Stefano. I'm afraid that he must have failed. I've been keeping a close eye on things via the security cameras. Not only is Union changing, but the corruption has spread to the marrow itself. It's changing, shifting. Items keep... Items, items appearing seemingly from nowhere. Creatures that defy imagination, wandering the halls. I'm not leaving the safe house until I have a damn good reason to do it. But who knows how long a safe house can reign safe in here. Looks like they had extra security for this place. Uh, let's see, security pro protocols. Due the, to the sensitive nature of the experiments being conducted, the laboratory is only accessible to Mobius operatives by the proper Unity cerebral chip designation. Please observe all security pro protocols when entering the laboratory and be aware that your clearance level also binds you to top secret non disclosure tenants, as outlined in your enlistment contract. Any operatives attempting to access the laboratory without proper clearance would be subject to corporal punishment as outlined in the Mobius security bylaws. Well, I'm not an agent, so it doesn't matter. Oh, very Resident Evil, huh? Well, Resident Evil the movie, I should say. All these tanks. What's this about? Oh, I, I take it back. It's just regular Resident Evil now. Can't pass through without one of those chips. Gotta be one around here somewhere. Hmm. 
STEM integration irregular irregularities. Uh, we have begun to observe a new and unexpected side effect of STEM integration in certain Union citizens. The symptoms begin simply enough. Small mental breaks triggered by vestigial memory overlaps. Affected citizens begin to experience their old memories, which leaves them in a state of confusion. Rewriting their memories again is only a stopgap measure. Their new Union designations serve only to confuse them further. Soon these small breaks develop into complete dissociation and eventually total physical metam metamorphosis. This phenomenon is currently only affecting 0.005% of the populace, but is troubling nonetheless. Much was learned after the Beacon incident, but STEM is still experimenting is, is still experimental technology. We are isolated in our studies while we continue to expand Union. It is imperative that we must that we stop this before it escalates. Hey, you got a chip, buddy? I might need to extract a chip from you. I get my scuffle out here. Doctor's in the house! I think this requires a very delicate insertion. Hey, lady. Not getting fresh with you, mister. He's like, the what? Our efforts have been in vain. The core escaped less than a day ago. Within hours, we began to receive reports of lost emerging in staggering numbers. They're everywhere now. 20% of Union's populace has succumbed already, and they're actively hunting down and killing whoever is left. It's a nightmare. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. We're trapped in here. With the lost. It's too late to stop now. 
The entire Union experiment is doomed. We're all doomed. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Hatch upgrade. Yay. Carry more of those things. Chippy, chippy, chippy. Where are you? What do we have here? Ah, oh, well, that looks like a fun experiment, huh? Uh, operative case. Our worst fears have been realized. The lost phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We have theorized that the transformations were a result of memory overwrite, but no operatives have been overwritten. We were able to quarantine and terminate an infected Mobius operative before he could transform. Perhaps his exposure to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to whatever is causing this. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. We are harvesting, harvesting his Unity cerebral chip in the hopes that it will provide new data. Removal of intact cerebral chips is possible with the extraction device. It is relatively simple and auto automated process. Merely place the subject on the, gu on the gurney and turn to the extraction device's activation code 0128. If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. the terminal that does a thing. Ah, here it is. Okay, let's see what happens. Relatively simple, huh? Why is it some drill? Oh, so you just can't have to watch someone's alive. In this rural trip, this launch ship was implanted in the brain of a Mobius operative. Oh, thank God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. Missing.
They all go downstairs. One of the big scary ones, too. Let's say you had nothing on you, come on. These Union citizens? What was Mobius doing with them? Hmm. Making meatloaf look like. Uh, pit Observatory, it's lonely in here and creepy, dumping these bodies, these things, into this pit. And they just keep coming. How did I end up with this detail? Been hearing things, voices, coming from the pit, but that can't be. But if they aren't coming from the pit, then they're in my head. And that's even worse. Oral hallucination is one of the symptoms. But I can't be infected. It's not a virus or bacteria. It's a mental thing that only affects citizens whose memories have been rewritten. Well, at least that's what they told me. Shit, I gotta keep it together. It's just loneliness that's making me think like this. Loneliness and being around these freaky corpses. It's not the phenomena. Oh no. It's coming. I gotta get out of here. Looks like it goes down forever. Go down there. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Nice girlfriend again. That thing again. friend. No place to go, what the hell?
I do not get it. There's no place for me to go. You can't see where it is. That thing again. Why is it after me? What does it have to do with this place? A uh, letter from Police Chief, November 17, 2014. Jim here. Just a quick note to give you an update on the Castellanos Beacon situation. We're sending Sebastian in for a mandatory counseling. The Beacon incident needs to be kept under wraps, and the good detective is our only loose end. We have many operatives in KCPD, but not enough to ensure total information blackout. Fortunately, our staff psychologist is on the organization's payroll. Once we determine how much Castellanos knows, we can easily instill self-doubt through these sessions. When we're through with him, Sebastian won't be sure if he witnessed, if what he witnessed at Beacon was real. Not that he needs much help, he's been stumbling through his assignments like a zombie. Poor son of a bitch is obviously having trouble dealing with whatever happened to him in there. I almost feel bad for him. I've known the guy for over a decade. It's like he's a different person now. But that's the price of progress. If you want to make an omelet, you gotta break some, an egg or two. Uh, James Van Kirk, KCPD. Kidman was right. They're everywhere. They were right under my nose the entire time. Torn psychological evaluation bottom. The top of the paper has been torn off. Be kept on duty and observed. The information gained from his experience in STEM could be invaluable to the organization. It has been uh, posited that STEM immersion can have long-lasting residual effects. Detective Castellanos is unique in that he has entered and left STEM without standard pr preparation or memory overwrite. We can learn a lot about the mental repercussions of STEM's use simply by letting him go about his business while we observe him from a distance. I will continue to track Detective Castellanos' mental state via our men mandated therapy sessions and will report any findings to the organization on a weekly basis. Walter Harrington, Psyche. Damn. Mobius were using me as their guinea pig. Long lasting residual effects. They knew Stem would scar me like this. A way out? this 
Can't move on. Can't. The source of my pain is me. The part of me still stuck in STEM. Never getting out. No. I'm wrong. I will get out. But without you... What was that? It felt different than the others. More real. Like something changed. I feel... good. Huh. My trusty revolver. I haven't seen you in a long time. Slide. I really can't go down there and see what's up. Oh, okay, fine. Cerebral chip, please wait. Unity cerebral chip detected. Entry authorized. About time. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Oh, we're going to find something here. Freeze tanks everywhere. That was gonna be you. Back. 
Stay out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! <laughs> Hi, girlfriend. That's it. I'm done playing with you. Thank you, S Sebastian. Uh, I'm finally free from his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. Y you've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. There's a machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. What happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but he heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. Yes, Master. Of course. The machine is operating as it should. <sighs> Thank you, Father Theodore, to hear you say that. Fills me with pride. What? But she is harmless to us. She's not. No. I would never disobey. Of course I will. Whatever pleases you. Yukiko, can you hear me? I'm in the fabrication room. Clearances don't mean much when everyone's dead. Just. Please come and meet me here. I have. Something to show you. It's important. I'm sorry, Yukiko. But he demands it.
Hey, pretty girl. Huh? Go on. Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Oh, I'm missing one. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. Thanks, Kitty. We've got to stop meeting like this, Detective. Ooh, that's a lot of green gel. Pull cascade for a certain amount of time. Shooting damage is increased with each consecutive shot that successfully hits an enemy. The effect ends when a shot misses or when time runs out. Why don't we stop it there? Uh, this is Anapost Free, watching The Evil Within 2 on PC in 4K with HDR. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.